I'm my plain Jane so welcome back to my channel so this set is going to be a really simple set you can do this at home if you are in a bind you can't make it to the nail salon it's just a really simple set for maybe a date night or a movie night but it's real simple 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 so we have our gold foiled we have our model ones classical 003 that's kind of like a, a Kind of a nude color with our base coat from Beatles and our Ageo gel polish, which is like a creamy, milky white. Our tweezers for the foil and our detail brush. And without further ado, let's get started. Yay! And you already know we are going to buff that shine away with our electric filer. Buff, buff, buff that thing out. No shine. No shininess over here. And then in this process, you're going to see me actually use a nail file because we want to get rid of those little pointy things at the end of the nail. We're going to file that down as well as define the edge of the nail as well. So I'll be filing and softening, not softening, but buffing to smooth the lines out for the foundation at the same time. Then I will be adding our primer because we want a really good durable foundation. After that we will be using our Beatles gel base coat before we apply our polish.
after we applied our first coat, we cured that for 60 seconds, and then we apply our second coat and cure that for 60 seconds. And then after we've done that, we're gonna go in with our Gaio 1312 Milky White to kind of make this a tad bit lighter and a tad bit creamier. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's it's a very subtle effect that it does especially when you mix colors like I like to do you're gonna see it so I'm going to apply this here you're just gonna see magic happen so it looks like really white right but it changes that tan into just like a, a lighter nude I can't explain it but you see it <laughs> you see it you see the magic okay that is you know I just want to make sure you know what I'm talking about but yes so we're gonna do that for the rest of the nails and we're gonna cure that for another 60 seconds. I'm going to go in with my model ones 0944 it's a brown a chocolatey brown to make my smile line now again I don't have any rhyme or reason how I make my smile lines I it honestly doesn't matter um, about perfection here because you are going to be covering up that line with the foil however when it comes to smile lines I do like to take my time and practice when I have the opportunity so that's what you're gonna be seeing here you're gonna be seeing me just trying all types of techniques doing the smile line <laughs> but it is a good thing to practice especially if you are in the press on nail business or just a nail business in general when I say smile lines are one of the most tedious things that I have ever had to keep perfecting it's it's it is a process and it, you will never think your smile line is perfect enough like I honestly don't think mine's are the best but it's just a process like it literally is a process for smile lines doing it by hand so I am going in with that brown and then I am going to let that cure for 60 seconds and I'm gonna go back with the brush from the actual gel polish and fill in or go over the brown to make it a little bit darker to accentuate that brown chocolatey smile line we have going on here and then throughout the rest of this clip I think I'm just gonna be trying different ways to do smile lines so yeah word of the day smile line two words smile line <laughs>
it's about that time to add those gold flakes so I am just adding on a bit of top coat to that smile line and then I'm going to grab just a little bit you want tiny pieces from the gold foil to disperse and break up on that nail and get it on the line but kind of not just enough to your liking if you want it all over that's fine if you want them on the brown instead of the nude that's fine too but I just want to scatter it in between the line and just get very tiny pieces broken up for that foil disbursement just for like I said this could be for a night out or a movie date so it could do both you know not too much too much fanciness but just enough to get somebody's attention you know <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do with this foil hair and then you also want to make sure that it lays down as flat as possible so when we do apply our top coat nothing is poking through that top coat so as flat as possible and as small as you can get the full to break up Let's add our top coat to give it that shine that we love so much that just brings everything together. And these are the finished look guys I really love how they came out look how shiny and again you can wear this for date night movie night brunch or whatever girl it is your time to shine this summer and you got some gold flakes to show it off please let me know what you guys think of these nails in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also follow and share I will see you guys next time thank you guys so much for watching and until then bye